Hi everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Um, I know a lot of is going on in the news and has been, but you know, it's up to you to create your day. All you can do is, you know, wish the best for other people and, you know, whether you pray or use thought affirmations or use wishes, however you want to say it, but that the best outcomes and um, I would want to say peace, but solutions happen. Um, otherwise, you know, the news is going to be the news, and you can't really help other people if you're feeling down all day. That's just something I learned, so um, you can take it or leave it. But this vlog is about hate, hate crimes, um, crime in general. And I just want to do this. I ha I'm going to have another vlog about it. Um, focusing on the frequency of love and healing, courage and strength, all those are frequencies. And this is science. Um, but... If you're up against something, the, you know, the best thing you could do is go the other way. You know, get the frequency that's going to help you. And I'm talking from experience, um, being a mom of two children, we had to leave an apartment of 11 years um, and do kind of like battle with um, drug dealers and sex traffickers that had moved into our building. And this was a, in a nice neighborhood across from a school. Um, it would be a beautiful day, just like today. And they basically were taking over um, our neighborhood and our building. So, you know, I've had firsthand experience dealing with this. And it's not easy. Um, for me, I feel like it was a, a spiritual type of thing where I got to learn more about what I was willing to do to stop crime. Um, especially because I had children and help other people's children that were being targeted in our area. Because there was stuff on the news about um, men trying to pick up girls that were waiting for the school bus so this was on the news and going on in our neighborhood so you know I, I didn't really want to ever go public with it but this is part of having courage and strength um, in dealing with issues and sharing your experiences so my main thing is um, I don't judge people who do drugs or any addiction because that is part of life a lot of people have problems, have been abused themselves, and all sorts of things. Um, but the solution with the drug dealers is that, you know, they are tied with the sex traffickers. And if you are like me, you have children, um, you know, that's a problem because they are making money and they see you as a potential business. So, you know, right now I'm basically rebuilding my life from that because they did property damage, you know, to my car. Um, to our apartment, you know, they stole from us. Um, they know what they're doing, you know, little things. I had to talk to the police and I had to learn. This was new new to me, you know. I didn't know people were going to do this, but I think that's part of being on this planet is learning and helping others from it. And although we had to go through it, um, I still will go through it again because I can't tolerate people harming other people. I can't tolerate people, you know, breaking in and, and basically, you know, wanting to, to rape you or rape your kids and take you. And they did try to destroy us. If someone is tampering with your car and you have a long commute, you know, they're basically committing murder in the end. So you have to look at this rationally as well. What is their intention? If they can't take you over or uh, get you to do what they do, then they're trying to kill you. So you're going to have spiritual protection whether you believe in God or not, you're going to have a certain amount because you're a good person. For me, it helped me strengthen whatever spirituality I already had. And probably singing and dancing too. Um, that was helping me kind of clear the energy and deal with them. So, off that note, something about um, addiction. I have this an older book, and this is a quick narration that might help you. So if you're dealing with addiction or anything like that, and everybody does... Um, but especially like a drug addiction and you really um, want to stop doing drugs, at least the motivation is the sex trafficking because, you know, these people want to um, basically steal and rape children and make money from it. So let this maybe be your motivation and ask a higher power, whether you believe in God, nature, to help you. And that higher power will help you. But this is from um, an angel book I have, and I substitute the word God with love. Um, I've had it for a long, long time, and I came across this today. So now this is a narration. Um, curing addiction. Addiction originates from longing to be one with God. Only divine love can fill your heart, soul, and mind with completeness and joy. 
Humans have tried everything imaginable to fill the void created by separation from God. You have tried using 